Hi everyone, how is everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's doing well. So I'm a bit lazy to do a uh, caption today, so I'm just going to do a voiceover over this vlog. So I haven't been out since last week, or at least like not out and about. Just Basically, I still have my lockdown routine. I just go out for food and for grocery but not never really for enjoyment or exploring so I decided to explore a little bit uh, at the beginning of the day I really felt like oh where am I gonna go or I don't know where to go to be honest so I went to my default setting type of place which is Starbucks and just reading a little bit of uh, this Hashimoto book that I am currently trying to finish I borrowed this last week, but never got around to do it. So this is just a little bit a uh, paragraph from the book. This is basically what I have on top of being autistic. I have had this my whole life, but only recently I came to realize and diagnose properly. So with a lab test and blood test. And I was like, oh, I really need to pay attention to this. So this is a really cute alleyway that I found in uh, the Broadway area, like the Chippendale area near a, a central Sydney. So I really like this texture. I know like for a fact that, you know, that probably isn't really good for the house itself. But for an artsy type of thing, it looks really cool because the texture was really rough but it was really fluffy as well as you can see from my neck I have a little bit of a goita which is why I'm reading the Hashimoto book um, it's a hypothyroidism condition which is why I was basically didn't have any energy last or like the beginning of this year I was going to sleep at 4 5 a.m. in the morning and then waking up at 1 in the afternoon Oh, jacaranda season is in is in season by the way and it's really pretty like the purple trees and flowers I don't know what's up with this particular little area here I don't know what they are they look artsy but I don't know so I have decided to basically go to this place called Ross Bay um, there is a Kohl's there that I saw on TikTok that was quite fancy. So I just used that as an excuse. This is the bus to go from Bondi Junction to Ross Bay. And yeah, so I was really feeling, oh, this is a really great view from Ross Bay. It looks directly to the city. And yeah, back to my Hashimoto. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm out and about. Oh, this is the coals in Rose Bay that I talked about. So I'm basically just going in and just checking out what they have. What I found weird is like because it is a very Caucasian uh, in, uh, place. Like the area, the neighborhood is very Caucasian. There is almost no Asian whatsoever. So whenever someone saw me, they always stepped aside and I'm not sure whether they were making room for me or whether they were avoiding me. Like it is a majority of it is like family and also very old people. So I'm not sure whether it's still like a COVID reflex or whether it's like racism. <laughs> I would like to think about it as a COVID reflex. So these are... The macaroons that I saw on um, TikTok, that's why I went there. Um, sparkling mineral water. Did I buy it? I did. It actually tasted really good. It's like beer. There's a, there's a lingering taste of beer, but with water. So, yeah. So, this is it. I only spent about maybe 15 minutes. It took me about an hour and a half to get here. So, it was just an excuse, basically, just to... Um, get myself into a place where I am not familiar because I feel like I really don't know where to go anymore in Sydney so I thought oh well 
why not? Because I was going to just walk around the city again, and I'm like, oh, I don't want to do that. So this is Ross Bay, like the main um, junction, the main area where most of the shops are at. And it, the shops are actually pretty spread out. So this is the, probably this is like the closest cl cluster that the area have area has so if you cross the street from here and then walk to the right um, and then turn left you're going to find this road and then you just walk straight ahead from here and the water is just uh, at the end of this road and the, the the weather when I was there was a bit muggy and a bit um, you know humid so it was a bit of a pity actually because it would have been nice if it's a fresh air breeze like blowing towards my direction and but it wasn't to be honest by the time I got here to this area I was really feeling that this place is a completely different world than the city which is only about like 10 minutes away by train and Bondi Junction which is about 10 minutes or 20 minutes away by bus so it's still pretty close to everywhere else and at the other side of this so the opposite end to this area so this is rose bay and is facing towards the city but at the other end so this is the east end. so this is the no this is the west end the east end of this which is directly the opposite side is bondi beach so if i took a path for example straight ahead like the opposite direction, it would take me to Bondi Beach. Cause this area, cause Sydney is basically a coastal city, so we are surrounded by water, and it's pretty far actually. I think it would probably take about half an hour walk, especially a slow walker by me. So that's it. That was my day. I, I was so I was sweating so hard by the end of this. Um, and I'm back in the city and have to go home and I just realized that there is this sign on in the city so that's pretty cool racism not welcome hopefully everyone listen to that and this is a weird lion but anyway thanks guys I'll see you later bye everyone